granted, he put it together and got Arthur McCashin, who was a wonderful captain of the team and who created the first civilian team after it was military. But uh, I'm sure the answer to your question is, yes, there was a doubt, but because there always was a team and I didn't know about the political workings of things, I thought, of course, there'll always be a team, you know, from 1941 on. And so I can't answer your question, but I do know that Whitney solved and paid for and financed an awful lot of problems that did happen. And I know when the horses went over to Europe in the beginning to compete or to go to an Olympics, sure, they'd have fun drives, but it was Whitney Stone that signed the biggest check always.